I was doing a crossword for about half an hour, and then I just couldn't watch. It was um, it was amazing. We kept getting ourselves behind the eight ball, and and different guys kept pulling us out of it. But that's the story of the season, isn't it? I mean, written off in so many circles day one. I mean, no one. I mean, a lot of people picked you guys to finish last. Year, yeah, but well, we knew how the Gabba works. We know. Early day one was going to be a struggle because the pitch was going to be so slow, but we knew in the afternoon there was going to be a chance because it would quicken up a little bit. Fortunately, Ali McDermott bowled an exceptional spell. Ryan Harris bowled well the whole game. Chris Hartley, well, his game speaks for itself. Steve McGoffin, his game speaks for itself. Um, so many different guys did so many things in the game. Mate, Clive, Clive Rickles in the second innings for you. Can you tell us what that meant to you to be able to contribute like that as a captain? I mean, it means a lot because... Um, but you, you don't want to be out there setting fields and then not scoring runs or taking wickets. So um, it was it was a good four days. It's felt like it's gone for about eight days. But um, yeah, it was yeah, it's a very pleasing result. How long does the party go for another eight? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's going to go for a while. I would have thought. I think our end of season dinner's in about nine days. So it might be nine days. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a defining moment from the match? Do you think? Where, where uh, we turned? I, th I think I think when when I got out was that what was that second morning third third morning. And um, and the 96 run stand between between Mags and Hearts there, I reckon that was the moment that we actually felt the momentum come our way and 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 we knew it was our game to lose from there. How sick and sore are those two? I mean, how much do they really sort of sum up the spirit of the team? Uh, Mags is stiff and sore. Uh, Hearts is sick, but you wouldn't tell if you looked at him at the moment. He's buzzing a little bit. I'm not sure how long that one's going to last, but um, but. Yeah, the boys are sore. There's a, a few other boys in, in, in the team carrying a few niggles, which they've got through, which is great. What do you think those young guys are going to take out of uh, seeing the likes of yourself and, um, kind of on their leaf in the front there with well, the uh, older heads? Well, I, I just like hope we realise that that we play well enough in patches to put teams away a lot easier than we did just then. Um, I hope our team's next step forward is is to chase a target like that one two down and do it easy like that should be what we aim for now and 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 we know we can get ourselves out of trouble but um you're going to have seasons when you do it regularly but you don't want to make that every year what about McGoffin? he's an interesting story isn't he because he he virtually was a you know come out back with no promises or guarantees or anything really didn't he he did he, he well, western australia cut him loose we when we sat down at the start of the year and spoke about players, we always earmarked him as someone we could call on, and we did call on him. And, and to be honest, he showed he's an experienced campaigner who doesn't panic. And, and his bowling, I was watching up on the big screen, some of the balls he bowled yesterday afternoon, they were phenomenal. And um, he was making the ball do things on that pitch that other bowlers weren't. The victory target of 133, that's an awkward target. How did you approach it? What were your thoughts? We, we didn't even talk about it. We just said, let's j to just get our partnerships, which was, we, we wanted 150-run partnership, 175-run partnership, and that was going to be 125, and that should have been the end of it. But um, we got the 50-run partnership, and then we fell in a hole, and you always felt the game was going to have one last little twist, but when we got to about 10 runs out, I was hoping there wasn't going to be another one after that. What about yourself, James? How about, you know, uh, you, you know that's a really big moment for you in your career, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, you've sort of... A decade-long servant for Queensland. It's been a long road to this point, hasn't it? It has been a long road, and there was and there was a time, probably two two months ago, where I was doubting I was probably going to play again this season. But um, but I took the punt that that my knee would get through, and it did. And and mate, so proud of the boys. If you were in the room seven eight months ago when, when we sat down and we started planning this kind of thing, um, everything just seems to have fallen into place, and and the players. It hasn't been the same player all the time. Different players have had have done things in great games. Like we can talk about the Joe Burns, we can talk about the Ali McDermott. Those guys have made a name for themselves now, and it's it's I suppose it's up to them to take something out of this and and kick on to the next level.